Warning. Interesting. Interesting opening. This game contains strong language. This game contains depictions of depression and anxiety. Oh, there's some smoke effect going on in the background. It's cool. This game contains themes of identity and loneliness. This is not a horror game. But there are some moments of scary or unnerving imagery. And most importantly, this game contains arty archetypical anime characters. <laughs> oh, okay, well, yeah, okay. Oh no, my fear. Archetypical anime characters. If any of this sounds undesirable, then this game might, be, might not be suitable for you. I love the sound they choose for the game, by the way, holy. If you are under the age of 13, then this game may not be suitable for you. If you hate reading, then this game may not be suitable for you. I have read this far, I, I must say that I love reading. Are you willing to proceed? Yeah, sure. Yes, no. Well, there's no highlight. This looks like a movie. But I'm funny if I say no. That is okay. Have a great day. Oh. Uh, okay, I should have guessed. Okay, so... Yeah. This time, yes. I love the effect. That's really good. Then let us begin. I think it will be a much more simplistic game. This is a prototype build, I think. Save this game, yes. This is who the developer who also developed AB Ray Shine, a game that I enjoy playing and interesting. Sound. I love the sound that they pick for this game. Did they made it? Options. Ooh. Yeah, this is perfect. Oh yeah, where was I? Yeah, Aberration, it's an interesting game about Abby. Not, not much to say, because it's a, mostly a character-focused game. Aberration, Abby is a very interesting character, that's all I could say. Mirror Grandma. This is cool. What else can you show me? Start. Play it away. Oh, is this the start of the game? That is so cinematic. Hello. What is your name? What if I enter blind? Nice to meet you. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good? Bad? What's the difference? Good, I guess. I'm glad to hear that. Tell me more about yourself. Ah, mirror. I think I kinda guess where this is going. What do you like to do in your free time? Cook fruit, chat with friends, read books, play games. Honestly, chat with friends. Playing games? Playing games is also great. Imagine playing games while chatting with your friends. While also playing visual novels so you're reading books. While also cooking food because you left the chicken to be burning in the oven. <laughs> Everything is enjoyable, but I guess chatting with friends. How interesting. What is your favorite hangout spot? A rest restaurant? A school, a library, uh, no, no, not school, library, park, restaurant. Mm, none of them. None of them, honestly. Maybe, no. A, a, a restaurant is much more pre preferable, I guess. Fessy, fascinating. How would you describe yourself? A silly goofball, a nervous wreck, an update out roadkeeper, a carefree rebel. Silly goofball. Hey. <laughs> Sorry, I'm enjoying the sound. 
Carefree Rebel, I guess. Silly Goofball. Carefree Rebel. How would she describe your best friend? Oh, I don't know. They are all silly goofballers. Your enemy. Silly goofballers as well. Update Rule Keeper. Or maybe, yeah. Update Rule Keeper, I guess. I see. You are a wonderful person to talk to. Listen. There's something I would like you to do for me. A favor one might say. Would you be willing to lend me your time? I've been doing that for now. For a while now. So why not? Yeah. Excellent. We've got all the time in the world. There's someone I would like you to watch for over. Can I guess the guardian angel? He is... Trouble to say the least. And could use a helping hand. By the way, how do my character look in the video? Yeah, he, he looks great. How would you like to... I would like you to be that hand. Sure. Could you do that for me? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Excellent. Now, before I send you off, have this warning. Hit this warning. This journey you're about to experience. It is best to take your time and go with the flow. Indeed. I really love the sound they choose it. It's calming. Not only calming it, as if this time has slowed down. Take breaks if you need to. Everything will be how you left it once you return. You will encounter many others during this journey. You may have an initial impression of them. But not everyone is who they seem on the outside. Exactly. <laughs> not everyone is, except politicians. Politicians are fucked up, dude. Less and most importantly. Though it may not seem like it at times, your choices really do matter. You matter. No matter who you are. Your decisions will leave an impact on everyone you encounter, both big and small. So choose wisely. That is all. Would you like me to repeat myself? No. Everything is clear. In that case, I bid you farewell. May we meet again soon. May we meet again soon. This is great. Holy. And? Haha. Uh -huh. I used to love the outside. Yeah. I used to have many friends. I used to enjoy my life. Comedy and tragedy. But one day it all changed. As I grew up, I started to notice something. I was different. My personality, the self, there was no real, it was as if there was no real me. 
Gotcha. Gotcha there. I was... Nothing. You know it. I still am... Feeling what? Empty? Nothing? Hello. Nothing. Wakey wakey. It's time to wake up. Time to wake up. It's time to. That's cool. I love that. Lonely boy. Another day. I'm moving with excitement. This game excites me a lot. What should I do today? Play a game, read a manga, watch a movie? Wow! This is so cool. Uh, watch a movie. Play a game, read manga, read manga, read manga. I kinda want to read manga. Hold on, I'm, I just want to correct myself with something. Be right back. You cannot be serious. There is no one that have played this game yet. At least no, no, at least no one that have like, commented on the game yet. I could say. This is amazing. Four hours? Oh my god. Let's read a manga, shall we? I guess I'll read some manga. I will tell my friends immediately about this game after I finish playing because this is amazing. You hover over a pile of manga scanning their covers with your tired eyes. Which one would you like to read? I'm, I, 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 I don't know the title! What is, what is that? That looks interesting. This looks interesting. That looks interesting. This, this, everything. You pick it up and inspect the cover for a moment. Hmm. I think I remember this one. This was the first manga I've ever read, in fact. I might as well return to a classic, I guess. You sit down and prepare to immerse yourself in the monochromatic world of manga. Wow, this is beautiful. Inspect the title. Big Fist Man. <laughs> Big Fist Man. Big Fist Man. It's an action manga starting a group of teenagers with supernatural abilities and their journey to becoming the strongest in the world. The premise is so generic, it's somewhat intriguing. As your vision flows from panel to panel, the reality around you slowly drifts away. Pages after pages, delicate by several dialogue books, you find yourself feeling at home within the world of these characters. The characters, in fact, begin to resemble old friends you haven't talked to in a while. They all have interesting dynamic with one another. One is dim-witted yet enthusiastic about everything. Another is timid yet kind to whomever they encounter. Another is stern yet willing to have fun once in a while. And the last of them is brash yet secretly caring on the inside. It feels as if in some alternate universe. In a timeline where things turn out differently. That he could be one of his friends. Maybe. Maybe indeed. Now what should I do? I play a game, watch a movie. I don't know. Play a game? I guess I'll play a game. Oh, look at that! You look at a card you just got out next to your game console. Which one corresponds to a video game? Which one would you like to play? There's so many of them! 
What's this? What's the closest to us? You pick it up and inspect the label for a moment. Um. Oh wait, this one's kinda fun. It's the one where you run around as a sucker something. Okay, I'll play that, that then. You turn on your game console and prepare to play a game. Sock adventures, yeah! You inspect the title. Suck the sock tree. <laughs> After pressing the cartridge in the machine, you notice that nothing is happening. Uh, this again. You take the cartridge back out of the console, blow on it, and then put it back in. It works. As you wait for it to load, you recall the synopsis of this game. It's a fast paced side scroll where he plays a suck and his fair scouting team friends in their guests to put a stop to the evil Dr. Rock Pocket, also known as Dr. Lightman. Oh, oh, <laughs> Dr. Lightman. The premise of generic is somewhat intriguing. After a while, you're met with the main menu. I, I think I know what priority is this. You decide to select the new gap options. As the opening cutscene plays out, the reality around you slowly drifts away. Stage after stage, battle after battle, you find yourself feeling at home within the world of his characters. The characters, in fact, begin to resemble old friends you haven't talked to in a while. They all have an interesting dynamic with one another. One is, one is dim-witted yet enthusiastic, enthusiastic about everything. Another is timid yet kind to whomever they can encounter. Another is stern yet willing to have fun once in a while. And the last of them is brash yet secretly covering on the inside. It feels as if in some alternate universe. In a timeline where things turn out differently. That you could be one of his friends. Maybe. Now what should I do? Watch a movie, shall we? I guess I'll watch a movie. Ah, oh, that's a lot of movie. He appeared in the drawer full of VHS tapes. Which one corresponds to a movie? Which one would you like to watch? Oh, exciting! This one? You pick it up and inspect the level for a moment. Hum. Oh yeah, this one's a science fiction. Science fiction pretty cool, I guess I'll give this one a watch. Although I have a feeling the plot's not going to make any sense. You turn on your TV and prepare to watch a movie. Inspect the title. Jakira. <laughs> Jakira. As you slide the small black box under the tape player, you hear a click followed by the flickering on your of your TV. If it is what I think it's para doing for. You press play only to be met with the credits. Alright. Ah, I forget to rewind it. Oh my god. You press the win and wait for a few minutes. You need to rewind the those things back then before you can watch. During this time, you try to remember the plot of this film. It's a movie centered around a group of delinquents who rise up against a dystopian future controlled by the government and technology. The premise of generic is somewhat intriguing. Ah! After an eternity alone with her thugs, they finish rewinding in, in You Can Now Watch the Movie. As the title appears and the opening credit plays out, the reality around you slowly drifts away. Scenes after scenes, shot after shot. You find yourself feeling at home within the world of his characters. The character, in fact, began to resemble old friends you haven't talked to in a while. They all have interesting dynamic with one another. One is... Have we done this before? We have, right? Limited yet enthusiastic about everything. The other one is timid yet kind to him for the encounter. Another one is stern yet willing to have fun once in a while, and the other one is brash, yet secretly carrying on the inside. It feels as if in some alternate universe, in a timeline where things do turn out differently. Well, you know, 
Yeah. You know. We know. Now what shall I do? Hmm. Nothing, huh? Seems like it's getting a bit late. Your stomach begins to rumble. Well, time for dinner, I guess. You exit your room and walk downstairs to your kitchen. Each step you take echoes amongst the cramped yet empty halls. The creaks of the old wooden stairs, though subtle during their day, reverberate like cracks of thunder in the sun night. One might even worry that a noise such as this might awaken another member of the household. But you have nothing to fret over. After all, do you live alone? You live alone. Oh yeah? Then what is this? Me stepping behind you. Ooh, spooky. You arrive at the kitchen. What would you like to eat? Bag of chips, instant ramen, box of rice. Instant ramen, bag of oh chips, ramen, instant ramen. You said to indulge in a cup of instant ramen noodles. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and eat ramen soon. Okay, after this video, I guess. Specifically, the chicken flavor, so it's not your favorite. After boiling some water, you take the noodle cup and pull, pour the water in. As a flufferful steam flows from the cup, you sit down at the kitchen table and prepare to enjoy your meal. Uh huh. Thank you for the meal. With your chopsticks in hand, you begin to consume the cup's content. I thought the meal is somewhat satisfying, there's but one small issue which pl plagues the experience. As much as you like to ignore it, you can help but notice the sound of slurping that comes with eating it. Much like your footsteps, it tends to steal your attention away. Even the chopsticks occasionally rubs against the styrofoam of the cup, making quite an awful noise. However, it would be a shame to go to bed hungry so you endure the annoyance for just a bit longer. After a satisfying meal, you throw the empty cup into the trash. You return to your room. What an eventful day. It was just like yesterday. And the day before that. And the day before that. The... The game was nice. Maybe I'll start a new file sometime. Oh, but... I don't have any safe slots left. So, uh, that manga series, it's, it still holds up. Maybe I could start a new series. Yeah, something new, that's what I need. Something new. Or is it? I've been playing the same games, watching the same films. Reading the same manga. For... I've lost kind of how long. But... But it's not enough. It's never enough. I still feel empty. That's just how it is. That's why we keep consuming stuff. That's why we keep reading manga. That's why we keep consuming art. That's why we keep being creatives. That's just how it is. That's how our desire works. We will never stop feeling this forever in our life, I guess. Like... Like there's something I've been... Missing this whole time. What could I be... Missing? I don't know. I could hide the dialog box. I could use this as a thumbnail or something else.
I think I'll go brush my teeth. Or this. This could make a great thumbnail. Look at this. Yeah. There I am. Oh, I can save like this. Yeah, yeah, that'll do. Can I return? I can return back as well. I want to save this moment so I can explore it later for thumbnail purposes. This is cool. September 21, 2024. What? What is... What is a fucking thing there? History. Options. This is really good for Renpy. Holy. This is Renpy. I'm pretty sure it's Renpy. There I am. What's left anime? Every time I look at it, that reflection. They begin to recognize it's less and less. I think that was a hole in the body. That's interesting. Who is that that looks back at me anyway? That face. Are those bags under my eyes? Surely not, I don't much do much besides sleeping. That hair though. So messy. Whatever, I think I'm just about ready for bed. Yeah. Me, 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 me. Good time. Alright, I'm to return to a better place. Wish I could just stay there forever. But eh, real life is just so exciting. Life. I wonder what it would be like. To have a normal life. I wonder what it would be like. To have friends. But of course that will never happen. After all, I don't belong up there. I belong in here. Alone and safe. I better go to sleep. I'm sure things will be much more exciting tomorrow. Yeah, maybe. Heh, <laughs> as if. I wonder. Ah. Chains. Uh huh. Why are you here? I don't know. Uh huh. The door is wide open, you know. That's cool. It's safer in here. Is that so? Hey. Hello. Are you enjoying your life? Good question. Are you enjoying your life? Uh, uh huh? You can hear the neighbors next door. Next door. It seems like they're getting ready for school. Damn, such so the skits gain, huh? Why do you to be sold out? Not all of us are up and early getting ready for school. School, huh? I remember going to school. How long has it been since then? I lost Connor for a while. Have I really been trapped in here that for that long? That I forgot. What grade am I supposed to be in again? 
I think I'm my first year, right? A first year in high school. I think I even got the uniform for it. You don't measure around the closet looking for a uniform you've never worn. Ah, uh, here it is. Aha! Tutorial text box, middle mouse. Wait, what? What do you mean? Oh, to hide text box. You can also use middle mouse? Interesting. Look at that. <laughs> I love that. I love this is the first time I've seen official novel actually telling me to, hey, try to hide the dialog box and see, you know? That's cool. Um, I don't look that bad. Yeah, you're not. Well, my hair is a mess as usual, but I think I passed for early girl high school student. Oh no. Are you planning for something? I bet I could even show up right now. If I really wanted to. No. No, no, no. I won't even consider it. You should consider it. I couldn't do that. I... Surely class has already started anyways, right? You glance at the time. 7.36. Lovely. 7.30. Almost 7.40. School starts at 8. And I live relatively close. I think. Am I recording? I'm recording. I mean, if I really wanted to, I guess. I can't. There's no way. I don't belong out there. This, this is my home. And this is where I belong. Right here, alone, and safe. Yeah, are you sure about that? What should I do? Leave. There's an option. There's an option here. Stay? What if you stay? I, feel, I actually feel really bad doing this. Especially since the game already says that this has consequences. Yeah, what am I thinking? What? Was that a Discord notification? That was a Discord notification. I didn't turn on my streamer mode. Okay. Why would I never eat, ever need to leave? There's no point. There's nothing for me out there. I'll just stay here. Where it's safe. I mean, alone and safe. Well, I guess I better go back to sleep then. Hopefully my dreams won't be sort of the interrupted, interrupted next time. Oh. Oh. Yeah, indeed. Is this that type of game that detects your choices? Huh? Yeah. Oh. Where am I? What is this place? I'm in the woods. You find yourself in the midst of a dark forest. Surrounding you are tower of branches that whistle in the midnight breeze. It's so cold. And dark. I want to leave, but... Where do I go? You look around, but no path can be seen for miles. All you can see are thick wooden veins that sprout from the air. It becomes colder. I... I don't know. I don't know what to do. You ponder for eons. A decision like this, you are not used to making this. You recall the times where choices were made for you. 
Those were simpler days. Now you are alone, and you miss this side quickly. But what if I do nothing? What if instead someone comes to rescue me? I think I'll do just that. I'll wait for as long as it takes. You plan your foot to the ground and refuse to move. Despite the cold in you and your urge to leave this place, you stay riddled with the unyielding force that has plagued your life up until this point. Indecision. How did I end up here? You continue to wait. Minutes pass. Surely someone will come for me. I... And then I can go home. Hours pass. But what if... Nobody comes. Days pass. What if nobody cares? Weeks pass. What if I stay here? Months pass. Forever. Years pass. And ever... Years pass. And never leave. Years pass. An endless loop. You become a statue as you feel the hands of time tick at an incalculable rhythm. After a while, your body becomes unable to feel the sensation of time. Your legs no longer stand, you simply feel yourself floating in space. The universe around you follows with progression, but you remain numb. Years pass. Years pass. Years pass. The concept of time has lost all meaning to you. You exist, but when? And why? You are alive, but how? Years pass, and yet you have forgotten what a year is. That is until... Wait. The sun... I'm... I'm impressed. Sun? It was the right decision. Was it? Huh. It's beautiful. I haven't seen like like this since. I remember when we used to play hide and seek in the woods. She always managed to find me. So this time I tried my hardest. I went so far into the woods that there was no way she could find me. But then hours passed, and she couldn't find me. So I tired. So I tired to find her. Tried to find her. But I couldn't find my way back. So I just stayed there. All the way until nightfall. And that's when... She finally found me. She came back with a flashlight and shined it right in my eyes. I guess I deserve it. She seems pretty upset that I wandered this far off. But I could tell... I could tell she was just as happy to see me as I was to see her. Those were good days. Days before. Hey, is that light getting... brighter? As the light envelops your vision, you feel yourself fade from the reality you just experienced. In its place, a soft cocoon wrapped around your body. And a soft cushion behind your head. It is time to wake up.
You find yourself at home in your bed. You remember who you are. You are Shunta Shiro. You have been living as a hikikomori for too many years to come. Most of your days are either spent playing video games, watching movies, or reading manga. You are not always like this, however. The forest both its terror and eventual relief. You remember it from somewhere. You begin to wonder to yourself. What other memories could be uncovered? What else have you forgotten in the monogamy of your everyday uneventful life? What was it like to enjoy your life? After a long day of doing the same things you normally do, you decide to head back to sleep. Perhaps you will be you will be brought back to the strange world. This paradise. Um, well, this is awkward. <laughs> yeah, what's up, boy? We are the, with the, with the, we are the end. Hi. Now that your machine has been properly broken, I'm gonna uh, tell you to do things, haha. Huh? So first off, this was not the main room of the game, obviously. That was very obvious. If you want a full canon experience, you're gonna want to real safe and leave the house, or just restart the game and speed run to the point. God damn it! <laughs> oh shit, I forgot. No, I forgot to save there. Tell you the truth, there's a secret button in your arsenal. If you press Control, it will skip any dialogue that you have already read. Thank you. So if you ever play the game, you can use this switcher to fast forward to the moments you have not seen yet. Technically, this is not supposed supposed to be in the game, but I didn't feel like coding it out lol. <laughs> God damn it. Also, you may be wondering why this particular ending is so short. If you don't know, I already made this short as a standalone game on my HUI page. So why did I not use the whole thing? Well, to be honest, I wasn't quite satisfied with how the ending of it turned out. And it would feel like a waste of your time to have pretty much the whole thing in here but leave out the very last part. So I'm cutting it off here. If you really want to see the rest, you can find that game on my HUI page. It's called My Paradisi or something like that. What? Anyways, that's all from me. I think I'm gonna take another year long night. See ya. My paradis- What? Wait, what is this? Paradisio? Okay, time to check it out then. Okay, so I'm not really sure, but apparently there's another version of this game that explores the other the, that one ending if you just choose to say which is interesting very very interesting so this time let's choose to leave the house shall we we will try to explore that later I, I think like later later I guess for now we will explore this game instead and because I already have some schedule for the next few days but we will put that on our mind later on so this time Let's leave. Uh-huh. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Oh, you take a step out of the front door. It's the first step you've taken in years. Well. <laughs> The world suddenly becomes more colorful. Huh? Lonely boy. What am I doing? Am I am I really gonna go to school right now? This is crazy, I must be losing my mind. 
Uh, uh, what is that? My skin is burning. Oh wait, that's just sunlight. Jeez, this really is a terrible idea, isn't it? Like I'll say I don't belong out here. I'm a... what are those called? A shut-in? Yeah, that. I'm a shut-in, which means I shut myself inside. I'm going... I'm going back. Uh-huh. No, 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 no. Let's think about this from a logical perspective. <laughs> okay. Pros and cons. If I go through with this, what if it ends up being a good experience? What if it's some sheer stroke of luck? I enjoy myself for once. And if not, then so what? I'll just go back to my room and never come back out. I'll probably the same, be the same outcome either way, so I might as well try. This music is bopping. So, here we go, I guess. <laughs> okay. You approach the gates of school. The plague on the side reads, She... Shikis Shikisai Academy. There it is. The gates of hell. That wasn't very funny. <laughs> well, what do you mean? That was funny. Scythe. I remember this place. Or well, I remember seeing it. I've never actually been inside. This will be... My first time sleeping inside a high school now that I think about it. Looks like attendance is about to start. Maybe I should have gotten up sooner. Hey, showing is up late is what cool people do, right? Ah, uh, whatever, I think this might be my class. You approach the door to classroom 2-4. You take a moment to collect yourself. 2-4. Yeah, this is it. Okay, ready? You, you're just gonna sneak inside the class? Okay then. How would you introduce yourself? We entered the classroom. Thankfully, most of their students doesn't seem to notice you. Don't seem to notice you. Sigh. If I just keep my head low, then maybe. Hey! Eh, eh. <laughs> oh my god, I love this. Hey! Huh? huh? Eh? eh? Seems you've been spotted. Whatever noise has caused you to become the center of attention. Well, so much for not being noticed. Guys are about to start. Go back to your homeroom. Uh, uh. Hang on, I don't recognize you. Are you new here or something? I think so. You think so? Oh, wait, you're one of those no showers, aren't you? No showers? Yeah, you don't like showers. Got them. No showers, the brats who never show up to class. You're one of them. Oh, in that case, yes. I see. What's your name, kid? Sh sh Shintash Shiro, sir. Let's see, Shiro. Ah, there you are. Well, glad you finally decided to show up, I suppose. Oh, I guess I should introduce myself. I'm Sakamori Kaminakamori. But you'll refer to me as Sensei, got it? Yes, sir. Good. We don't have very many empty seats left, so, uh... Ah, there's one. You can have a seat over by the troublemaker. Oh no. Troublemaker? Me? Yes? Are you talking about me, troublemaker? Uh, here we go. Hey, come on, teach. I ain't that bad, am I? <laughs> I love this character. Kuro. Alright, alright. Maybe just a little. That's an amazing choice of sound. Whatever, you two just get ready for homework. Homework, homework, yeah? Yes, sir! You begin to regret your decision to come here. Hey, don't worry about that, Teach. She's a bit off for dramatic sometimes. Just between you and me, I think it's having a midlife crisis. Oh, okay. Oh, but never mind that. You're new here, huh? What's your name? Uh, Shiro. Sh Shunta Shiro. Ah, what a strange name. What's up, Shunta? I'm Kyoko Kuro, but you can call me. Yoko? Are you on a first name basis? N nice to meet you. Likewise. Uh huh. You take a seat. Back in this kind of seat once again, huh? It's really nostalgic. 
I guess I've never been one to hate school or anything. Scythe, it's more so the learning aspect that I'm not a fan of. And the teachers, ugh. Some are nice, but this game seems like a real jerk. Oh, and don't forget all the rules and the new forms and... And... And yet somehow I still feel attracted to this place. Like something urged me to come back even after, after all this time. Maybe I'm just crazy or something. Yeah, that makes more sense. Uh huh. Anyways. None of that really matters, I guess. What should I focus on is blending in. I don't want to send out anything. If people think I'm weird, then well. What was the point of coming here? Hum? What's that noise? Yeah, I can hear that. Whispers? Interesting that you also notice it. Oh, they are... Talking about me. Aren't they? I mean... Let's not jump to conclusions or anything. Maybe it's... Maybe there's some sort of quiz today. Yeah, that must be it. They're whispering about a very important quiz today. And that's why they are looking... At me. No, it's definitely about me. What else could they be whispering about? Uh... Uh... Foods. I'm a new student. Obviously, that's what everyone's attention is always drawn to. Oh, did you see the new guy? I heard he hasn't been to school in years. Wow, what brought him back, I wonder? He should just stay home. He, he should have just... No, no, no. It's... it's fine. There's nothing to worry about. Why would I even be worried? Attention? That's great. That means I'm interesting. This is why I came here, right? Social interaction and all that. No, no, it's okay. Everything is okay. No one is looking. No one is looking. No one. They're looking. They're definitely looking. Oh. They're looking at me. They're talking about me. What did I do wrong? What's worth talking about? Just talk about something else, damn it. Uh, I can feel their gaze. It's... it's suffocating. I can't... breathe. I can breathe. I can breathe. I can breathe. That... that's on me, I'm not touching anything. I can breathe, I can breathe, I can breathe, I can breathe. I can't... I'm not even touching anything. That's amazing. Hello. How does one person make this game? Hello, game. Yellow, you could say. <laughs> Hello, yellow. Hey, Shinta. How do you do it? Do what? How do you handle all of that pressure? All those eyes on you. All of those expectations. I guess I just like the attention. Sounds like something you say.
listen. Yanata. Yanata. Not everyone is an extrovert like me. Extrovert. Some people are more introverted. Ah, interesting development. And that's okay. What matters most is this. Just be yourself. And what is that self? Shunta? Huh? huh? <laughs> Interesting. Hey man, you good? You look like you've been out of it all class. Class? <laughs> it appears you were asleep for the majority of your first class. I need to step up. I'm fine. I, I, I need to step out? I... I need to step outside. Are you sick or something? No, no, I just... I teach new guy's sake, so I'm taking him to the nurse. Uh huh? Eh? Uh, fine, make it quick. Yes, sir. And you better not take too long. Yes, sir. Your new customer insisted on taking you to the nurse's office. I told you I'm fine. And I told you don't look fine. Aren't words cool? <laughs> yeah, it is. What's with this guy? Is he just trying to mess with me? Regardless of this, I'm not in the classroom anymore. I guess I should have anticipated this would happen. Spending so much time in solitude. It's only natural I feel like an outcast here. Sigh. Hey, so you're new around here, right? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. You guess so? So I'm doing that anyway. Well, on behalf of the school, welcome Shunta. Shiro. And thanks. No problem, man. And since you're new and all, I get some advice for you. Hum. You ever been part of a club before? Club? Uh-huh. No, really, n no. Ah, for real? It's not really my thing, I guess. You sure like guessing, huh? It's just a thing people say. Well, now as good as time as ever. Our school got the rightest club in the city. Is it now? The rightest club in the city? What is it? Well, more or less. That's cool and all, but... Ugh. It just seems like too much effort, you know? Come on, think about it. You gotta go to a place to run stuff you like, all while you gotta hang out with other weirdos like yourself. It's a great way to make friends, too. Make friends, you see? Yep. I love that the uh, yep and the... Uh, it sounds like at the same time. Ah, oh, look, there it is. The nurse's office. Yep. Right here on the first floor. Try to remember that in case you break your leg or something. Oh, thanks, uh, Kuro. Just call me Kyoko. No. Alright. <laughs> no, okay. Alright, well, I better get back before Sensei pops another blood vessel. See you later, dude! Bing. I love that. I love the, the way that they disappear. See ya. You think about what he said. Clubs. You think to yourself, a group of weirdos are just like me. Does something like that really exist? And if so, will they really be part of one? Nah. That's not gonna happen. Mm-hmm. As the clock chimes, you realize the day has gone by. Oh, school has come to a close. Finally, school has come to a close. I gotta say, this place is truly horrendous. But ultimately not as bad as I expected. Well, I guess I did set the bar pretty low. Anyway, let's find a way out of here. Preferably someplace less crowded. You search for an unpopulated exit road. So, this is quite the opposite reason as to why you came here. Proper social interaction will come another day. Man, why does there have to be so many people? I... I don't know, because it's cool. I just... Oh, that's a new expression. Ah, uh, here we go. Now, this is a nice hallway. Now, if we could just find... Yeah! Uh-huh. Did someone just die? What is that? 
Oh, that hurt. Owie, my food. It's a girl. She looks hurt. What shall I do? Help her. Uh, safe. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna enjoy exploring all these options later on. Help her, yeah? I guess I should try something. Hey, hey, what's wrong? My, my foot, I think I uh, broke it. Do you think you can carry me to the nurse office? C carry? Yeah. Please, it's really painful. I don't think I'm strong enough for that. Oh. Okay, well, could you at least try to get me there? You know, the classic arm over the shoulder maneuver. Pretty please. Eh, eh. Sure, I guess. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You carefully put your arm around her and get her to safety. Interesting. So yeah, I was like on my way to the club, right? I love the characters to sign this game. And then suddenly, I slip on a banana peel! I'm sorry. <laughs> what? Uh, how crazy is that? Literally the most cartoon thing that could happen to me. What a situation. I'm not sure whether to be flustered that the girl is talking to me. Or annoyed that she won't stop talking. Not to mention she's being very physical. Because... Because she's injured? Again, I don't know whether to be flustered or annoyed. I should have just said no or called someone else for help or something. Or maybe like run away or something, I don't know. Whatever, let's just get her to nurse and be done with it. Ah, uh, well anyways, enough about me. I don't recognize your face, are you new around here? Huh? E yeah, something like that. Oh, we haven't had a new student in a while. Well then, let me be your guide. For someone in injury, she's acting awfully bubbly. <laughs> oh, my feet hurty. I right know, we are on the second floor. I can't see that. Your stuff is in the third floor for some reason. It's very inconvenient if you ask me. Sure is. Is it? Huh? Yeah, if someone get hurt in the bottom floor. You mean to tell me to get a dragon stuff up to flight of stairs? Ah, so you're saying that we should put it in the middle. No, I mean... I think the nurse office was on the first floor. <laughs> okay. No? You must be getting it confused with our old school. Uh, she must think I'm a transfer student or something. Still feel like I remember it being on the first. Hey, since you're new, you aren't in any clubs, right? No, no. Hmm, I see. Yeah. That means you're looking for one, right? No. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay. Woohoo. Why is that the second time someone's brought it up? What's so special about clubs, huh? You got any hobbies? Hobbies? Uh. I see my life was interesting enough to have hobbies. Not really, no. Oh. Oh, I see. <laughs> Disappointed, aren't you? It's okay. Is that a bad thing? Hypothetically, if I were let to, let's say, invite you to a club... Yeah, I okay, know that you've been trying to do that. Would she join? What club? Uh... Probably not... no. Man, this still isn't going how I thought it would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it isn't. What was that? Huh, nothing. Okay, I'm not the best of communication or anything. But something is definitely off about her. Where... Where exactly is she bringing me? Is she... Is she bringing you to a club? Is she... Is she, is she recruiting you this way? Haha! <laughs> We've made it! Oh. Uh-huh. You know, I may be new and stuff, but... This just looks like a normal classroom to me. Nope. This is it. Come on. Wait, where am I go? Before you can process it, she drags you into the classroom by your arm. She's quite strong for someone with an injury. God damn it, get scammed once again. <laughs> I'm crying and shaking. Get scammed. Oh, that's amazing. Any what? Woo! Clap. 
Clap your hand. What? That's amazing. What? No way one person developed all of this. Even they can do a classroom occupied by several girls. God fucking damn it. I knew it. I fucking knew it, dude. And appointed as a new member. You're not quite sure what is happening at this point. Oh, a new member? Hi. Hi, yep, it's all thanks to me. Huh? I... Anyways, don't need to speak with him. I already did all that. Um... He seems a little... Confused. Very. Uh... Uh... How do you explain yourself? How do you explain your sins? <laughs> That's your explanation? Okay. He's got mental issues. Huh? Huh? I, uh... She's probably not wrong, actually. <laughs> Do I just accept it? Bucky, you didn't do thing again, did you? What thing? Mm-hmm. Hey, don't stare at me like that. Eh hey, eh hey. You did! Damn it, Bucky, we're... You did! Damn it, Bucky, we're gonna get Danica to do that. <laughs> oh, we're gonna let other people do it, so that's the problem. Do... do you what? We are... Uh, we're gonna trick a member into joining. Heh. <laughs> yeah, and I thought we decided to use Danica as the bait because she's the pretty one. What? That's horrible. Yeah, Kurumi, what makes you think I'm not attractive enough? Hey, never mind. And what exactly was your plan afterwards? Did you just expect him not to say anything? I mean, he's not saying anything now, is he? Shoot her. I feel like I should do something here. Sneak away, say something. <laughs> we can sneak away. We can sneak away. I love this game so far, dude. Sneak away. Perhaps it would be better if I just laugh. <laughs> what? Wait, wait. Then, then go. Well, I'll try it. Please, I know my club's member have been quite rude, but just hear me out for a bit. Scythe, okay. I... I apologize for everyone's behavior. To be honest, we are a little desperate for new members. The school rule says that the club must have at least five members. But... We only have four. I see, it's this trip, isn't it? I hope we can understand where we are coming from. Even if our means were a little... Uh-huh. <laughs> Sorry. Y yeah yeah I totally understand if you don't want to after all of this, but would you please consider joining our club? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Man, what kind of situation is this? I'm dragging to some random club room. Now they are begging me to join. It hasn't even been days since I returned and I'm already wrap up, wrap up in the same scenario. I don't even know what this club is all about. But, clubs are a great way to make friends, right? What shall I do? Join, don't join. Join? Alright, I'll join. Wait, really? Uh, you, ah, you, you really don't have to if you don't want to. No, he said yes, there's something in the back. How exciting, I didn't think anyone will join after that atrocity. Shall we formally introduce ourselves then? Yes, of course. My name is Danika Haoki. I'm the president of this club. Please make sure yourself at home. Pleasure to meet you. Suneko Midori, vice president. I'm the one and only... Baki Momoko. Hum. Oh yeah. Um, I'm Kurumi Murasaki. Hi, I guess. N nice to meet you all. Alright, my name is Shiro. Shunda Shiro. Alright then, Shiro-san. Welcome to the drama club. Oh yeah, it is very dramatic. Wait. A drama club? Chapter 1, the club. <laughs> and... I think this is where I will end the video for now.
This game, this game is a bit. September 2, Monday, Trevor Club. Are you ready for some action? Actings. Flame. Explosion. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe explosions. Either way, yes, I. I will end right here because I think that's a perfect way to end it. And. Hello, Sunta. What a nice day to wake up. And uh, where was I? I was like confused. Uh, this game has been so enjoyable so far. I cannot believe this is work only by one person. Look at all the animations, look at all the arts, look at all the sound designs and everything and the stories. It's amazing. And I cannot believe that no one has like commented at all about it yet in the itch.io comments uh, where the game is published. Which is crazy. This game is amazing and I think that a lot of other... And I would totally recommend it to my friends to play it because that's just how crazy it is. Anyway, yes. I don't have any more comment except that. It all there's probably a few typos here and there, but other than that, this game is perfect and I love it. Maybe it affects the readability a little bit. No, actually it's very readable. I just I don't know, I just don't like the bottom right of the paper there. It it keeps drawing the attention of my eyes, probably because it's it has a higher contrast than the other. Anyway, yes, that's all for the game for now. Chapter 1. I hope you enjoy it. See you later then in the next chapter of the game. Bye-bye.